Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Cooking for the Family. Today we are making cheesy pasta bake. And a bonus, I'm going to show you how to make homemade pasta sauce. We will need olive oil, two cans of tomatoes, we're using diced tomatoes and tomato puree, one medium onion, four garlic cloves, and we will also be using fresh basil and fresh parsley. And can you believe it guys? I grew this basil plant from a seed and it is part of my herb garden. And I love using fresh herbs anytime that I am cooking anything for my family. We will also be using fresh Italian flat leaf parsley, but for whatever reason, if you don't have fresh herbs, that is fine. You can use parsley flakes. Those are the dry parsley flakes as well as dried basil leaves. And if you want a little kick to your pasta sauce, a few sprinkles of the crushed red peppers. And now to taste, salt and pepper. And I love using kosher salt, gives it a great flavor without making it overly salty. So first what we're going to do here guys, is we're going to go on and dice up our medium onion. And I'm going to be dicing it up in sizes of about the size of a dime. Okay, but no bigger than a nickel, but you want to have them about the size of a dime. Now in this recipe, I'm using a white onion. However, you can use a brown onion as well. Either one will work fine. So once I've diced up my onion and I've got that set to the side, next what we're going to do is we're going to go on and work on our garlic cloves. And hey, if you're new here or you're returning and you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, go on and hit that subscribe button. And if you like what you're seeing so far, go on and give this video a thumbs up. So we're going on and we're working on our garlic cloves. And I've peeled them. I am mincing my garlic. And once I have my garlic all nice and minced, we're just going to go on and set that aside. Now, if you like a little extra garlic in your pasta sauce, I'm using four cloves of garlic. However, you can feel free to add one more garlic clove. The garlic cloves that I'm using are about the medium size. So if you do have garlic that's kind of on the smaller size, go on and add an extra one in there. And then next, I'm going to go on and I'm mincing up my fresh parsley leaves and I'm giving them a nice thorough mince. Now with the basil, we're not going to mince them just yet. I don't mince the basil until it's time to put it in the pasta sauce because our basil leaves, basil has a tendency to bruise once you start chopping it. And so we don't want to actually um, mince it or chop it up just yet. But what I am doing it here is that you see that I'm cutting my basil leaves off my plant. And now with cutting the basil leaves, I'm clipping the leaf right at the juncture that is connected to the vine. And what that is going to do is the basil will reproduce. And so I can have basil all season long and the leaves will reproduce. Okay. So now we have our pot. I'm going to go on and add in our olive oil and I'm using two tablespoons of olive oil and that's extra virgin olive oil that I'm using. And once I have my olive oil is nice and warm, we're going to go on and add in our onion. And then we're going to go on and saute our onions until they are a nice translucent color. And I have my fire right now on medium. You don't want to have your fire too high because your onions will go from a nice translucent color to brown very quickly. Okay. And as you see here, the onions are nice, translucent. They have softened up quite a bit. And next we're going to go on and check on our ground turkey. And for my cheesy pasta bake, I am using one pound of ground turkey, but you can also use one pound of ground beef if you'd like. I'm using the large pasta shells for my pasta bake. I've gone on and added in a half a teaspoon of kosher salt to my boiling water and I'm using the entire box of pasta shells. Now guys in the description box below I'll have all the information for what I'm using uh, to make our pasta bake as well as our homemade pasta sauce. Okay. 
Now, once we've got our pasta in our pot, I'll go on and give it a stir, mix it in there real good. And I'm just gonna go on and let the pasta do its thing. And I'm gonna actually cook the pasta according to the package because what we're going to be doing is we'll be draining our pasta and our pasta will cook again in the oven when we bake it, okay? So next up, once I have um, our onion are nice and sauteed, I'm adding in the four cloves of garlic. And we want to um, continue to saute the garlic with the onions. And we're gonna just saute our garlic uh, with the onions for about one to two minutes. Not too long because you don't want to brown your garlic because if so, um, the sauce will be bitter because the garlic takes on a bitter taste, okay? And so I've gone on and I put in my uh, can of diced petite tomatoes. And I'm gonna also add in one can of tomato puree. Now, if you do, do not want to use uh, diced tomatoes, you can go on and substitute that can of diced tomatoes and use two cans of tomato puree instead. Now, once I have both cans in there, uh, in my pot, we're gonna go on and give it a nice stir, mix everything around, just like that. And then I'm gonna go on and we're going to season up our pasta sauce with our salt and pepper. Now, when I'm seasoning my pasta sauce with the salt and pepper, I do it twice. I do it initially, I'll put in salt and pepper, and I usually use about a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper and a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. I have that in there. And also, if you want to add in your uh, red pepper flakes. If you want to put in um, a couple of dashes of red pepper pepper flakes, this is the time that you would do that. Okay, but I'm not making my um, sauce uh, spicy today, so I'm just uh, seasoning it up with the salt and pepper. Okay, so once I have that going and I have everything mixed around, we're going to go in and put the top on our pasta sauce, keep it on medium, and go in and bring it to a boil. While our pasta sauce is um, starting to come up to a boil, I'm going to go on and mince up my basil leaves. Now the basil, I've washed it as well. So I've washed it, I've gone through and patted it dry and just kind of let it drain in my strainer. And what I'm doing right now is I'm looking to see if there was any brown spots, anything that I missed um, from the basil. And if so, I just kind of toss those out. You don't want to use uh, any brown pieces of basil. I gather up my basil leaves and I'm going to go on and mince them up really well. Now with the parsley as well as with the basil, it's fresh herbs. And so with the fresh herbs, we're going to use a fourth a cup of the parsley and a fourth a cup of the fresh basil as well. Now earlier, I had mentioned that if you don't have fresh herbs, you can use the dried herbs. Now with the dried herbs, you want to use two tablespoons of parsley flakes and one tablespoon of basil leaves. And if you're using those basil leaves, those dried basil leaves, when you put in your one tablespoon to your sauce, you wanna go on and just rub the basil between your fingers if you're using the dried spices because it really helps to bring out the flavor and the aroma of the basil when you do that, okay? But today in our pasta sauce, we are using our fresh uh, herbs. So I've gone on and I added in that fourth a cup of flat leaf parsley and the fourth a cup of fresh basil, giving it a nice deep stir to my pot. And once I've added my herbs, I'm gonna go on and turn my pot down to low. And I'm gonna let my pot simmer on low for another 15 to 20 minutes and give it a nice deep stir. And look at that, that is coming along so nicely. So our pasta has been, our pasta sauce has been simmering for 20 minutes. Let's go on and give it a check. It's looking really great, guys. Look at that. Mm, look at that. It smells so good in here. Look at that. You see all those nice herbs, those fresh herbs in there. The onion, the garlic. I'm going to give it a taste. I'm adding a little bit more salt. Giving it a nice deep stir. And that's it. 
that is our pasta sauce guys I'm gonna put the top on let it sit for a couple of minutes let it cool down just a bit and we're gonna go on and assemble our cheesy pasta bake are you ready let's do it so in my 9 by 13 casserole dish and my size on my casserole dish um, are about two to three inches that you want to have a little bit of depth to your casserole dish because you're going to be doing layers. So I've put in a tablespoon of my extra virgin olive oil and with nice clean hands you want to go on and go all around your casserole dish. I'm going to be doing a layer of my fresh pasta sauce. And this pasta sauce is great if you are making a meat sauce, if you are doing spaghetti and meatballs, and it is even great if you are making yourself homemade pizza. It is great sauce for homemade pizza, okay? So now I have my shells, and sometimes the shells tend to kind of nestle within each other, and that's perfectly fine. You just go on with your fingers and pull them apart, just like that. But I have rinsed and drained uh, my pasta in cold water, okay? Next, I'm putting a layer of my ground turkey. And again, I've, um, I'm using one pound of ground turkey. And in my ground turkey, I seasoned my ground turkey with salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder to taste, okay? And so I've gone on and I put my next layer of my pasta sauce in just like that. We're going to put in a layer of cheese. And I love using the freshly grated cheese versus just the packaged cheese. I just think the freshly grated cheese, it melts better. And the cheese that I'm using is a Colby Jack blend. But you can use cheddar if you want, medium cheddar, mild cheddar. You can even use a little bit of sharp cheddar or Monterey Jack. But the, che the cheese I'm using is a Colby Jack. I'm doing my second layer of my pasta shells. And I'm going to go on and put on some more of the ground turkey as well. Just like that. The last of my ground turkey, adding that on top of the shells. I'm going to go on and put in another layer of the pasta sauce. Even that all around, get it down in there. And we will have some pasta sauce left over and we will also have a little bit of the um, pasta shells left over. And I'm going to give you a quick tip as to what to do with the extra pasta sauce as well as the extra um, pasta shells. Okay, I'm going to add in some more cheese and I'm going to end up using about two to three cups of grated cheese. Now, once we have all of our cheese on our pasta bake, we will cover our dish with foil. We're gonna put it in the oven at 375 for about 30 minutes, about 25 to 30 minutes, just until all the cheese is nice and melted and bubbly. And once my pasta sauce has cooled, I like to store it in a nice airtight container. I put my label on it, I put it in the freezer, and it'll keep in the freezer for several months. This pasta sauce is great if you wanna make homemade pizza for a Friday night. I just take the pasta sauce out, let it on thaw, and voila. Well, here it is, guys. This is our cheesy pasta bake. Let's give this a try. The cheese has melted. It is nice and gooey. Look at that, oh my goodness. It looks so good. We did a great job, guys. Look at this. And remember I was telling you about those extra pasta shell noodles? What you wanna do with that? You're gonna end up with about two cups of cooked noodles left. And all I do is I add some salt, pepper, mayonnaise, a canned tuna that I've drained, mix around. I put it on a bed of lettuce and it is a great lunch. Now look at this right here. Let's go on and give our pasta bake a try. It's got that garlic, the onion, 
the fresh herbs layered in there with the spices and seasoning on our ground turkey. It looks amazing. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go on and hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, go on and give it a thumbs up. I thank you so much for stopping by when Devon is cooking for the family. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.